Welcome back friends to your Tech Handy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. In this video, we will perform an authoritative SysVol restore of DFS replication. Healthy SysVol replication is key for every Active Directory infrastructure. When there are SysVol replication issues you may notice. Users and systems are not applying their group policy settings properly. New group policies not applying to certain users and systems. Group policy object counts is different between domain controllers, inside SysVol folders. Log on scripts are not processing correctly. Some of these errors can be fixed with simple server reboot or running force replication commands, but if it's keep continuing we need to do non-authoritative or authoritative SysVol restore. If it's only one or few domain controller, less than 50%, which have replication issues in a given time, we can issue a non-authoritative replication. In that scenario, system will replicate the SysVol from the PDC. If more than 50% of domain controllers have SysVol replication issues, it's possible that entire SysVol got corrupted. In such scenario, we need to go for authoritative restore. In this process, first we need to restore SysVol from backup to PDC and then replicate over or force all the domain controllers to update their SysVol copy from the copy in PDC. For this video demo, we will perform authoritative restore. As you can see, we tried multiple options to force and update replication between three of our domain controller sysvol folders, but still policies counts are different between domain controller sysvol policies folders. We will follow the listed steps in order to perform to initiate authoritative DFS replication. I will share the steps in the description of this video as well for your convenience. As per first step we log into PDC FSMO role holder as domain administrator or enterprise administrator account. We can see PDC resides on DC01 domain controller and we are currently logged into the same domain controller. For next step we will stop DFS replication service, this is recommended to stop in all the domain controllers. Next we launch ADSI edit.msc tool and connect to default naming context. and then browse to SysVol subscription path. Update the given attributes values as showing on screen. MSDFSR enabled to false, and MSDFSR options to 1. Make sure to hit apply to save changes. Next, modify following only single attribute on all other domain controller. MSDFSR enabled to false.
After that, force the AD replication. As per next step, start DFS replication service in PDC domain controller. Next, we revert the following value in PDC domain controller, which were set on the step 5. MSDFS are enabled back to true. Then we need to force the AD replication once again. Next, run listed command to update the DFRS global state. We are now ready to start DFS service on all other domain controllers. Revert following value which were set on the step 6. Make sure this to be done on all domain controllers. MSDFS are enabled revert back to true. As per last step, run mentioned command again to update the DFRS global state. Verify if the policies count matches between all domain controllers sysvol policies folders. Sometime you might need to perform additional steps. First try force replication again. Try open sysvol policies network path again, of all domain controllers. Lastly, try to restart net logon and DFS replication services on all domain controller, starting from PDC. As you can see, our sysvol policies count is now matched and fully synced between all domain controllers. I hope this video helps you to troubleshoot DFS replication issue. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to support our efforts.